change the isotropic filtering to triple FXA and insert a text box I just want to make a video. into a the simple neck video. and flux capacitor. Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome to DaVinci Resolve for Dummies. We're going to open it, it's down here, but if it was here I would just double click it. It is 100% free to download. Yeah. Okay, so it's loaded up. Left click on Untitled Project and New Project. We're going to call it Making a Video and Create. Now you will see screen 2 of Confusing Cacophony of Stuff and Things. Right click on here um import your media my media is in a place like uh i call it fraps videos although i don't use fraps anymore i'm going to import this by double clicking don't change just don't do it click that we're going to change we've got to change our frame rate of da vinci to match our frame rate of our video and the way we do that is by here You'll see a little list that will show me that video in an and the stuff that goes with it it is recorded at 59.94 frames per second so we'll go back to the picturey thumbnail thing and remove the clip where is it there remove and the reason we've got to do this is because to change our project settings we can't have anything in there this is the difficult ist bit 59.94 row, change that as well. And in here, change this, not to I, to P, to 59.94. That's the difficult bit, and click change. Now we can mm, import media again, get that video back. Now we can start working on it. This is a cut screen, you don't really need this. You could just throw all your videos in there in one go now. Just import, import, import till they're all in, or you can do it later. I, 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 I would do it all now. Just chuck them in, right, and then drag your first bit of video in here, all right? You can drag it in there, or you can drag it in there. Just dump it. Now, finished with this cut screen. Don't want that anymore. I'm going to go edit, because I want to edit my video. Now, to edit this, I'm going to zoom in, because I can't really see it very much. So up here you can see, you can zoom in, you can double click plus to move in bits and bobs or single click minus to move in, but that's not very accurate. Now the beginning of my video is Hello. messy. So first of all, we want to cut that bit off and we want a lovely little fade in. So this is my timeline here where I can drag things by holding the left mouse button go here to the beginning of the video. I'm going to say I want... Uh, a two second fade in no i'm going to give a one second fade in so it's at 206 i'm going to drag it back to 106 106 now i'm going to press control b to chop that chop there it's chopped now right click on the bit you don't want and press ripple delete ripple delete anything in front of what you deleted will now be moved back whether it be 10 videos or one video mm. now we've chopped it hello excuse the hair i just got out of the shower when i did this now i don't want my video to just go whammo and it's there i want a little fade in and i can do that see this little white dot thing yeah left click and drag that now i'm gonna have a yeah a one second fade in you might not see the fade-ins very smoothly here. This doesn't represent what you're going to see in the final video. And you can actually change this if you want. If it's running a little bit slow or chuggy, just reduce the quality. Hello. I are sausage fingers. There. Now where I turned the camera around, that was messy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to cut all that bit out. So there's my beautiful... So there is my beautiful face suffering from beautifulness. I am going to cut it there. And these are I am going to cut it there. Control B. Now this middle bit I don't want. So I'm going to right click and ripple delete. Bosh. Now I don't want it to just go bam straight into that. These are older. That can be quite effective. But over here, you'll see your transitions and things. Now, keep it simple. 
you've got an audio crossfade and a video crossfade dissolve if you like that's what i'm using so if i right see those little brackets if i right click i'm at 60 frames per second so that would be a one second cross dissolve i want a half second cross dissolve bosh there you go let's have a little look like i say it might not look very pretty in here but it will look nice when it's rendered sausage fingers these are all the sausage fingers this is this. there transition done we're, we're having some lunch aren't we babies yes right mummy what did you get for christmas ah uh, hashtag no spoilers you're not going to find out what you got for christmas that is the end of the video so control b i can just right click and delete this now if i want it all gone bosh there we go now at the end of my video i want to fade out at three seconds or a fade out of three seconds some lunch aren't we babies yes right See? mummy what did you get for christmas beautiful now if i want an audio fade out it's exactly the same let's go to the beginning of my video say for instance it's too loud hello there are two ways I can do this. I can turn my volume down here by left click and holding on that little line, like so. Or, that is audio one, I can go across here and turn all of audio one down. These are all the sausage fingers, this is this. Like we're, so. We're having some lunch, aren't we, babies? Yes. Now we need some beautiful music in our video. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to import some media. In the in the YouTube Creator Library, there is loads of copyright free music. Yes, I'm going to go to music and I'm going to chuck this in. Double click. That is that. As you can see, it is in there. I'm going to just drag this here. It will make me an audio 2 box. I have got audio 2 over there. I'm going to choose this way. Look, you can see that's really loud. These are all the such things this is. We're having some lunch, aren't we, babies? Yeah. Right, mummy, what did you... Now, I, I like... I like it where the music comes in. So, I'm going to left-click on that to highlight this, and I'm going to press Control b If I'd have highlighted the whole lot, it would have cut the whole lot. Right, now, I'm going to make a mistake. Look, I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to ripple delete. Oh, my God, it's got rid of most of my video. Control Z is undo. That's your favourite button, that is. I only want to delete that. It's done it again. Damn you. So now I can highlight that, right click and delete selected. I'm going to have to drag that forwards like that. Oh my god, that volume. Right, here we go. Dragging the volume down with that little liney thing. That will take you to the beginning of a cut. So if I was here, that would take me to here. Hello. Hi. Right. I want a little fade in it. So I'm going to go just a one second, I think. 1.1 second. 1.01. .01. There we go. Hello. Hi. Sausage fingers. These are all the sausage fingers. These is this. Well, we're having some lunch, aren't we, babies? Yes. Right, mummy, what did you get for Okay, so there's the end of our video there. Now, as you can see, it snaps into position. If you don't want it to snap, this is your snap key, N. Or you left click on that, and now it won't snap. I like snap because it pops it into position. Bosh, there's the end. I want to chop that music off there. So, Control B. Right click, delete, selected. And I'm going to put a little fade out of, yeah, three seconds. Same, same. So let's have a look at our finished product. Hello, I are sausage fingers. I want more of a fade in there. Mm, where's my fade in? I'm going to go two seconds. And I'm going to go two seconds on the music as well. There. Hello, I are sausage fingers. These are all the sausage fingers, these is this. Well, we're having some lunch, aren't we, babies? Yes. Right, mummy, what did you get for Christmas?
and there you go that is your video complete don't matter how long it is how short it is don't matter whether it's gaming photography i use this same process for gaming i recorded this on my samsung galaxy broken s6 with a cracked screen yeah now the last bit is the rendering process actually making your video a a whole video so that you can upload it or do whatever you're going to do and now we need the deliver screen deliver there we go now as you can see it says entire timeline if you've got loads of other snippets of video and you just want to render a bit okay see this little gray line here not not this ignore this this little gray line that's the bit that's going to be rendered yes so if you want the whole thing done entire timeline zoom in and check it's at the end sometimes it skips off a little bit hmm skips off now to render we are going to go what are you going to this is what your video's going to be called making um, a vid video easy type thing style good yes this is where we are going to save said video i have a ready for upload thing which after you put it in a couple of times it, 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 it'll do it by default you know i'm going to save it there now that's all oh no most important bit format we want to change this to mp4 youtube likes mp4 yeah just check that's the same 59.94 i stick to best you can restrict no just no put it on best and have at it yeah now add that to your render queue see it's added to your render queue start your render if it's a long vid expect a long wait the better your the better your gpu and your processor the faster it's going to render but you you spend a lot longer rendering than you do actually making the video in most cases there it's cooked now i'm going to go to my file where i keep my video things um where is it making a video easy type thing style good hello I are sausage fingers. These are all the sausage fingers is is is. We're, we're having some lunch, aren't we, babies? Yes. Right, mummy, what did you get for Christmas? And there we go. You have made your first tube of the U video, or your first fully rendered, ready to go video. Now, we can get a lot more complicated than this. We can add picture in picture. We can do all kinds of crazy things and stuff. But this is a very, very, very basic get you started video. If you want to see more. Oh, Mr. Saints, this is a shout out to you. You asked me to make this video. So, yeah, if you want to see more, then leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to see and how you would like to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me all the likes and the subscribes. I will see you soon, haters. Oh, <laughs> oh,